It's cocktail time, so let's make my apricot velvet cloud. This combines floral flavors of gin with apricot brandy, fresh lime juice, simple syrup, and a pillowy cloud of foamy egg whites. Hi everyone, welcome to Let's Celebrate TV. I'm your host, Peter Lee. It's cocktail time, and today we're gonna make an apricot velvet cloud. What is an apricot velvet cloud? This is a cocktail that we made up, we invented it, and it's a fun little drink. It's sweet and sour, perfect for relaxing and sipping and just enjoying and taking a break. I have a nice big pint glass here. We're gonna start with some gin. Now, Gin is kind of polarizing, sometimes people don't like it, and their first question is, can I use vodka? You can, but you want gin in this case because gin has all the floral notes, and that's what's gonna match well with the apricot part. This is the gin I like. You just need one ounce or 30 mils. Right in our glass. Next is apricot brandy. Here's mine, same amount one ounce or 30 mils. Lime juice is next. Fresh lime juice, please. And guess what? It's the same amount, one ounce or 30 mils. And that's gonna be about the juice of half a lime, thereabouts. Right in. Simple syrup is next. Now, simple syrup is a concoction of equal parts sugar and water. You can make it yourself, or you can buy it from the store, which is what I did today. You really just need half ounce, which is 15 mils. Now, what is that gonna do? The syrup is going to help the lime juice and the alcohol stay mixed together. It'll keep it from separating later. Now, I called this an apricot cloud. How do we get a cloud? We're going to use an egg white. Here's mine, this is just one egg white from a large egg. If you don't like separating eggs, you can buy these store-bought egg whites. They're pasteurized, they're perfectly safe, they're perfectly wonderful to use, and you just follow the directions for the amount to the equivalent of one large egg white. So this is going to go right in. Now I need some ice in my shaker. And you know it's coming up. The shaky shaky. Here we go. Now today, I'm gonna to serve this in a rocks glass over fresh ice. You could serve it in a martini glass, but I like it over ice, just makes it last a little longer. Strain that in. Look at that. I need a little garnish. How pretty is that? This is just a little bit of mint. If you didn't have mint, you could use a fresh apricot if you can get them. Now, let's give this a little taste. Mmm. Mmm. That's wonderful. It's sweet. It's a little sour. It's very refreshing. You really taste the apricot, which is a nice flavor in a cocktail. And the gin gives you all these floral notes in the background. It just makes it all well balanced. So cheers to that. All right, if you like this episode, then do us a favor and sign up for our newsletter and you'll get recipes in your inbox every week. While you're here, remember, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell. All right, I'm gonna go and sip my cocktail and relax. While I do that, I want you to watch some of these episodes over here. So until next time, everyone, cheers.